Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the iPhone 5 and iPad 4 to iOS 8.4.1 without jailbreaking today. So let's get started. Alright guys, so in order to downgrade the iPhone 5 and iPad 4 to iOS 8.4.1 is First thing, we'll have to do a tethered downgrade to iOS 6. The reason for this is because I just downgraded this iPad to iOS 6 just the other day. So if I go to settings, general, software update, you see, instead of giving me the latest firmware, it'll give me iOS 8. And that's why we need to downgrade to iOS 6. Trust me, doing it this way is much easier than jailbreaking, changing the version number and all that. So that's why we're going to do it this way. The first thing is, you'll need a lightning to USB cable with the USB to USB-C adapter. I learned if you use a USB-C to lightning, it will not downgrade. So I went ahead and downloaded the iOS 6.1.4 IPSW already. So now, we're going to download Nightshade. This will allow us to do the tethered downgrade to iOS 6. So we're going to click this one that says nightshade.app.zip. The link for this website will be in the description below. We're going to click this button to download it. Sometimes it's a little slow. All right, there we go. So about 6.2 megabytes to download this. So now if we double click it, it will do this at first, the developer thing. So what we're going to do to allow it is go to settings, down over here to privacy and security, scroll down, and we'll see this. Nightshade was blocked from use because it was not from an identified developer. Click open anyways. I'm going to use my touch ID to identify it. Click open. Okay, so there we go. So now what we do is click other. We're, we'll use the boot tethered after the initial restore. This will boot it into iOS 6 later. We're going to click other, restore, select IPSW. And now we're going to do this one, 5, 6.1.4. We're going to double click that. And now what we're going to do is put the device into DSU mode. We're going to click Start, then hold the Home and Power button till it powers off. Like this. Then we'll hold the Home button for about 5-10 seconds. Then the, then the process should start right away. Yep, there we go. So you see, now the downgrade will start. And if it asks you to access your download folder, go ahead and allow it. It's totally normal. Oh, there we go. You see, there's the iOS 6 Apple logo, just like that. You see, now it's showing the Nice logo. All right, there we go. So now the restore to iOS 6 has begun. Has begun, I meant. So after we do this, then I'll show you guys how to boot into iOS 6 with Nice after this. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and time lapse this. All right, guys, so I'm back and the restore has finished, but since this is a tethered downgrade, we'll have to use Nightshade to boot back into the operating system. So we're going to cl click boot tethered, and now we're going to put the phone back in the DSU mode, the same way we did the restore. This will allow us to boot into iOS 6. Then we hold the home button for a few seconds after the first step. And there we go. So now it's going to boot into iOS 6. You should see the the newest Apple logo, then it should change. See, that's normal. See, booting system. See, when you see this right here, that means you guys are good. So we're going to unplug the phone here. And it should change to the iOS 6 Apple logo in a few seconds here. Yep, there we go. Now we're booted into iOS 6. So once this completes, it will be on the setup screen. But if your phone has baseband problems, then this downgrade will not work. That was happened to my last iPhone 5. The baseband chip failed, so I had to move the video to a lot later date. Alright, so this is an iPhone 5. I just got off eBay today. And we should get the animated Apple logo. Yep, there we go. And now we're on iOS 6, so I'm going to go and set this up off camera. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I finished setting up iOS 6. See, I'm going to go settings, general, about, 6.1.4, just like that. 
So now, to get to iOS 8, all we need to do is go to General, Software Update. Then if we wait a few seconds, it should give us iOS 8. Yep, there we go. iOS 8.4.1. We're going to go ahead and download and install this. Hit Continue. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my phone to power. That's what you guys should do when doing this download and install. And there we go. The old iOS 6 charging sound. You can see the old animation like this. Trust me, doing it. Doing a downgrade to iOS 6, then updating to iOS 8, is much faster than going through the jailbreak process of changing the version number. It's a whole lot faster if it's downgrade than update. That's why I'm going to do it this way. All right, so let me just rape stitch my camera so I can get a better angle of this. All right, so I'm going to go and time lapse this download. Okay guys, so I'm back at the download has finished. So now we just click install now. Agree? And there we go. Now it's gonna start verifying the update. So I'm gonna go ahead and reposition my camera here and time lapse this for you guys. Alright guys, so I'm back and the update has finished. So we basically just did an untethered update from iOS 6 to iOS 8. Which means we no longer need Nightshade to boot the phone into the operating system. It is now fully untethered. So we go to Settings, General, About. You can see iOS 8.4.1, just like that. So when going from iOS 6 to iOS 8, it will do an untethered update basically. That's how it works. So you can do any version of iOS 6 from 6.0 to 6.1.4. Iowa doing this from iOS 6 is actually the fastest way to do it. If you do it the jailbreak method, where you jailbreak, then change a version number to iOS 6, reboot, then update, that takes nearly an hour, depending on how fast your phone is and how fast the network is. But doing it this way took only 26 to 27 minutes. So it's about five times faster than the jailbreak method from 2018 from the earlier days. So that is basically how you downgrade to iOS 8.4.1 without a jailbreak. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.